Hello, I'm Dr. Gideon Micropenis, Professor of Sociology, Gender Nonsense, Race Baiting, Trans Waffle, and Mindless Hysterical Screeching Wiggery here at Foxtick Metropolitan New University. I was delighted to see the students of Durham University stage a walkout in protest at the presence of Rod Little at a college formal dinner and his invitation to deliver a speech at the gathering. They were absolutely correct in their actions. We can't have right of centre mainstream media journalists saying things out loud in front of impressionable young people. How dare he invade their safe space and violently attack their delicate young ears by articulating broadly conventional views shared by the vast majority of grown up people in this country. It is completely unacceptable for these young people to have their own worldview contradicted. We live in a toxic patriarchy. Patriarchy. Racism is certainly endemic in our culture, and if a man decides he is actually a woman, then biology becomes an irrelevance. These are the objective truths of the world that we live in, and the students of Durham University know this, even if Rod Little doesn't. So why on earth should they be subjected to his vile disinformation? I'm only surprised that none of the students called the police to come and arrest the man and cart him off to jail along with his despicably violent words. Free speech has absolutely no place in our academic institutions. The last thing our students need is to be exposed to a range of different ideas and perspectives and invited to use critical thinking to make their own minds up about the world that we live in. That's simply not what higher education is about. Professor Tim Luckhurst, who booked Rod Little to speak, has rightly been suspended from his position at Durham University. Let's hope that that suspension is followed by a swift sacking and that he never works again. It's the only way to deal with these people who think that it's perfectly okay to express opinions about things. Durham University has a proud hard left history of ideological absolutism and long may its culture of Marxist intolerance continue. Onwards comrades to a brighter future.